Bending spring wire by hand with pliers is tough. The wire is hard. It's hard to maneuver it. It really wears your hands out quickly and I have hand problems. So when I had people asking me to start making these bobbin holders to sell. I thought that was a really good idea. I made the first 80 all by hand with pliers and it wore my hands out really bad. So it was up to me if I wanted to keep selling them or not and I decided I would try to make a jig for bending wire. Spring steel, carbon spring steel, stainless steel spring steel, music wire. Those wires are hard and they're hard to bend by hand with pliers so i came up with a jig that will allow me to do closed loops and it'll also allow me to do the bends that i need in my wire in order to shape these wires to form the wire it's a wire former jig if you want to call it that and i'll tell you what i figured out and how i did this and i'll show you some examples of the bends i'm making and i'll tell you some of the things i learned along the way because i'd never made one before the first bend I'm making here is a coil or a loop, a double wrapped loop, a closed loop. It's basically wrapping the wire in a way that creates a form similar to a torsion spring. And you could make torsion springs using this same type of a wrap on a wire. The same tool does all the bends that I'm using on this jig. And because this wire is so hard, I used ends of drill bits in order to make the pins on all of them except for one i misdrilled two bottom holes so i ended up having to make a pin to fit those i'll need to change that out to a drill bit at some point because drill bits are hard and a softer mild steel will wear out bending these wires and i think it would wear out fairly quickly i can already see groove marks on the pin that i made to fit the holes that were a little too big but what i found worked best after i'd already drilled a couple of holes was to actually drill the hole and use the drill bit end in order to make my pins so you'll need multiples of the same size drill bits in order to make pins out of those so you can cut the ends off and use those for your pins the tool that i made to wrap the wire around the pins is a piece of 5 8 inch steel and i drilled an offset hole using a drill bit and cut the end off the drill bit and put the end that would normally go on the chuck put that, that end into that hole and i super glued it in there so it won't come out you could also use loctite permanent loctite would hold it in really well i thought though if i use super glue that if i ever needed to get that pin back out to replace it i could soak it in acetone and that will dissolve the super glue and then i could remove that pin i'm not sure how long these pins will last if they need to be replaced i'll be able to do that a little easier and that center hole is also drilled with the drill bit and i did these on a lathe but you could do these using a drill press if you're careful and and have it set up well to where you can drill 90 degree holes and the spacing between the offset pin and the hole in the center is just wide enough for the wire to fit in between the two with just a little bit of wiggle room that way you can get the tool back off the wire when you're done making your wrap the base plate of the jig is made out of 3 8 inch mild steel it will probably wear at some point but it's holding up okay now i've made several of these bobbin holder bodies on this jig already and it's been holding up fine so far and i used a cutoff wheel and a grinder in order to cut a little slot for the wire to fit in and i drilled and countersunk and tapped a hole and used a quarter inch countersunk head screw in order to hold the wire in place. The wire will need to be clamped down. It takes a lot of turning force in order to get the wire to wrap around the pins and it will definitely pull out if you do not have something there to clamp the wire in place. The reason I cut the slot for the wire to go down inside of the base of the jig and used a countersunk screw was that I didn't want the wire to hit something every time it passed around because you have to make multiple turns. I also found that using a rubber pad was sufficient enough to keep this jig from moving around. I don't have to use a vise to clamp it in place or anything like that. Because I'm using some downward pressure when I'm making these bends, the rubber pad is plenty to keep the jig from sliding around on the table while I'm using it 
to make my bins. In order to lay out the rest of my holes for pins to make the additional bins, what I found to work the best was to bend one up by hand and go in and mark where I want to put my pins based off of that. Once I did that, the only little snag I ran into was two of the pins were so close together that I had to make one shorter. And you'll notice that I have a short one that I put in. If it wasn't short like that, the handle would not slide all the way down and make contact with the base. So I had to make that piece a little shorter in order to allow it to drop all the way down into place. I tried to lay out the additional bins. I've got three bins that I make by hand still. One on each leg at the bottom in order to turn the wire a different direction. And also there's a bend near the top where I angle the loop in the middle. I angle that up so that it lays a different direction than flat. And I might come back and revisit adding those in to the jig at a later point. But for now, this is really helping a lot. Those bends aren't that hard to make by hand. They don't require as much force, especially that center loop, that kind of a torsion spring shaped initial double loop. That really will wear your hands out doing a bunch of those at a time. So it saves a lot of time. It also saves a lot of hand aches and pains and cramps. When you get older, those things just kind of go with the territory, I suppose. And that's all I've got. If y'all have any questions about anything, you can leave a comment down in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to try to help you if I could. I'll talk to y'all later.